<laughs> uh, all right, so good morning, everyone. We're gonna start laying down, but I want you to have your blanket with you um, where you can get to it easily. And um, if you have a standard yoga blanket, usually uh, it's kind of either in this shape, um, take the blanket and fold it um, so it's a little bit uh, smaller and kind of compact. We're gonna be using this in our hands. So you want it to be able to have some weight to it um, and where it can rest on your hands. So that's that. And then come on down and maybe you're strapped nearby, just in case you would like that as we start to stretch through the legs. All right. So happy Sunday, everybody. Come on down to your backs. Oh, I know. And some of us are already like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to move from here. <laughs> I think this is good. Let your hands rest on your belly. Draw the shoulders down toward the floor. Ideally, um, feet on the floor, just so we don't get too chilled out here just yet. And you can take the feet wide and draw the knees to center if that feels good, or you can keep uh, your feet parallel to uh, on the ground and hip, hips width. So start here, let's find our breath. And as you breathe in, count to the number four. Pause at the very top and then exhale that count of four again. And keep that counted breath, but notice as you breathe in, do you start to tighten through your jaw or your neck or the upper chest muscles? In other words, let that inhale be really soft and smooth and without any strain. Pausing at the top, exhaling it out. Good, keep that going. And then just change the arm position and take the arms to cactus pose. Same breath work. Keep the jaw soft, everyone. Good, few more here. And then if you're comfortable, let the arms start to go overhead, but no strain. So there's still a bend in the elbows. The backs of my hands easily touch the floor. I'm not raising my chin. I'm keeping everything nice and level and a few more breaths, counted breaths right here. Inhaling four, pausing at the top, exhaling again, four. Good, last one. And then release your arms back down to your sides. And maybe grab your strap and place the strap around your right foot. Take the right leg up toward the ceiling, right foot up toward the ceiling. And just get, gaze at the foot and at the knee and make sure all of that is pointing basically toward that right shoulder. So you're not rolling out or rolling in. Pause here for a second, draw down on the strap. And if it feels okay, straighten the left leg and breathe and just see how is the hamstring feeling right now. Now, if it is hard to hold this because your hamstring is tight, either just genetically or because you're just getting moving this morning, 
keep a bend in the left leg. I would rather see this than see this kind of weird struggle going on with the right leg, especially this early uh, in class. So pause here, draw both hips down to the floor, tone your belly. Whether your knee is bent or straight, lift that leg up off the floor a little bit. So a little bit of core work. If your knee is bent, you're just lifting the foot off the floor. Big deep breath. Keep flexing through the right leg. Keep stretching. And as you inhale, take the left leg up. Take your foot in that uh, strap. Release the right foot. Maybe put the foot on the floor for a moment so you can assess how this is feeling. Try to lengthen through the leg, flex the foot. If this feels fine, go ahead and straighten the right leg. Keep the shoulders down, keep the body nice and calm. Right, We're just stretching through the hamstrings here. Nice deep breath, let's get some energy moving. Good, tone through the belly, take the right leg up, put your right foot in the strap. Release the left leg. I think I forgot to hover, didn't I? I did. Okay, see, my, <laughs> my crew in the room aren't keeping me straight. Hover the left leg. We'll just have to do it a little bit longer on the other side. This time, left leg is hovering. Remember, the knee can be bent. And then take the left arm up and overhead so that the thumb is touching the floor. If that hurts your shoulder, um, bend the elbow and go to a flat. Uh, back of your palm. Good. Breathe, everybody. Make sure you're not overlifting your chin. Good. Take the left leg up. Switch feet. Take the right leg down. Hover here for a few moments. Let's get a little bit of core work. That's it. And then take the right arm up and overhead. Maybe your thumb touches the floor. Keep the legs energized. Big deep breath. Good. Take the right leg up. Listen up. Just move that strap out of the way. Bend both knees. Bring your knees to your chest. Hands behind your head. I did say a little bit of core work. So I want you to do some slow elbow to opposite knee. So as I extend the right leg out, I'm going to lift up and see if I can touch my left knee with my right elbow. If I don't touch, don't worry about it. Doesn't have to, and try not to pull on your head, okay? And then switch and hold. Can you lift the left shoulder off the floor? Can you scrunch through your belly and switch? Don't forget to breathe, especially that exhale when we crunch in. And switch. Good, switch. What I notice is when you hold this, it's so much harder than when you go fast. Switch. We're almost there. Hang in, hang in, hang in. Good, switch. Switch. We got two left. Believe it or not, I think that was only 10. Here we go. Last two, last one, and release. Take your knees to your chest, turn your head side to side. Good, and then grab your blanket. Now this is gonna be a little bit tricky. You're gonna take the blanket to the top, of, uh, to the front of your knees and put both hands on that blanket. It's the only way I know to transition it so that you can then turn the palms up and take the blanket up to the ceiling. Now, depending on your blanket, you might wanna scrunch into the fingers a little bit. Try not to hold the blanket with your hands, uh, but just kind of notice, right? It's up at the ceiling, draw the shoulders back down and just hold for a moment. Now, you know you, so if this starts to really hurt, um, just stop and take a break, okay? So feel this weight of a simple blanket and how this is starting to feel just holding it up in front of you. Keep your spine neutral. So I have a small curve in my low back, but I don't wanna go any further than that. Your feet are on the floor. So here we go, inhale here. 
as you exhale, start to take the blanket behind you toward the floor. What I want you to pay attention to is your shoulders. It does not have to come anywhere near the floor and then take it back up to the ceiling. Good, take it back and take it up. If you notice your back is arching more than normal, um, you're bringing the arms back too far. Good, take it up. That was three and four. Good, last one. This is five and hold it up. Know that you can take a break at any point. If that was difficult, stay here. If that was not bad and your lower back stayed more neutral, take the legs straight. Fire up the legs and fire up your glutes. We're going to do five more. Here we go. One. And two. Working with the shoulders here. Working with the upper body. And three. Go slow. Notice what's happening with the arms, with the shoulders. And four, we got one more. And five, good, bend your knees. See if you can hold here. Draw your knees to 90 degrees. Option one, right here. Option two, when the arms go, the legs go. Straight and in. We're only doing five, two, Watch the lower back. Three. I know we got to get it out of the way. Four. Come on, one more. And five. Feet to the floor. We're almost done as your arms feel like they're going to fall off. You're going to bend your elbows toward your side waist. Bring that blanket to your chest and push it up. Good. That's one, two. Three, four, five more, five. Don't let the elbows play out. Four, three, two, and one. Woo, good. Just set that blanket on your belly. Stretch out your arms. Shake it out. And then you're going to take the blanket and put it underneath your hips. So. You're just going to press into a little bit of a bridge pose. Take the blanket under the hips. Don't let it sit mostly in the low back. My low back is completely free, just like if we were using a block, right? The blanket is right at my hip level and then below that. So once again, feel that. A couple little pelvic tilts and tucks. Find your breath. And then come back to neutral, which means your sacrum is flat along that blanket, right? A little bit of space behind the lower back. You're not rounding. You're not over tucking. Bring the knees to 90 degrees. Take both legs up. You can use your hands if you would like for support. If you don't need the hands, you can hold the sides of your yoga mat. Good. Tone through the belly. Press the shoulders down. Slowly lower the right leg a couple of inches off the floor. Core work. I know. Bring the leg up. Lower the left. Try not to let momentum take the leg down. Okay? So go slow on purpose. I'm going back and forth. So if you're still holding one leg, keep it moving. Go slow. Don't forget to exhale. And breathe. We have one more, both sides. If your back is arching or overarching, one, engage the belly more, hold both legs up. And two, bend the knees, okay? Now, we're going to do 10 more, which means five on each side or both legs. Okay, so once again, if you arch into your lower back, that means you're going to strain through those back muscles. Don't want you to do that. So legs are straight. They're fired up. Only go as low as you can. Here we go. One and pull up. Two, monitor your back. Pull it up. Three. 
If you get tired halfway through, go to single legs, hold the side of your mat, four, and five, yep, squeeze them up. You can bend the knees, five left, five, and four. We got lots of food to eat over this next month. Three, <laughs> we gotta work on it. Good, we got two left. Can we do it? Two. And one, good job, everybody. Draw those knees to chest, hold your right leg in, stretch the left leg long, nice little psoas stretch here for the front. When we lift the legs like that, we work psoas quite a bit. So just a little bit of a stretch and then bring your left knee in, stretch the right leg, let it go long over that blanket. Good, bend both knees, feet to the floor, lift your hips, take the blanket out. Let the hips come back to the floor, knees to chest, roll over to one side and come on up. I like getting that core stuff out of the way early. So you may want a blanket on your mat for your knees, okay? Um, if you're in a chair, you can do all of, a lot of this work in the chair. You've just gotta be a little bit creative. Uh, we're gonna be starting with cat and cow. So you can do that in the chair um, and balancing table, right? You can extend out with hands on the chair. So I know you can do it. All right, so come on to your hands and knees for table pose. If you're using a chair again, you can be seated or you can stand with both hands on your chair. And then curl up just a few cats and cows, just warm it up everyone. Big exhales, inhaling up and exhale, good. Last one. And come to a nice neutral spine. Press the right leg back, tone in through the belly, lift the leg, still some core work. Take the left arm out, balancing table. Lots of options here. One, that left hand stays down. Two, you're in a soft fist on the right hand, although I would be cautious there. Option three, elbow to knee, squeeze it in. Extend it out, <sighs> squeeze it in, extend out. Yep, if you're chilly in your house, you're gonna get warmed up very quickly. We got two left, squeeze and extend one more <sighs> and extend, good. Let that hand come back to the floor. Let your right knee come back to the floor, listen up. You're gonna take the left leg out to the side, got it? You're gonna walk the hands up, come on up, gate pose. Let the left hand slide down the left leg and take it over. Ah, oh, doesn't that feel good? Maybe. <laughs> if you're in your chair, you're seated in the chair with one leg out to the side and just lining that leg up, the other foot is on the floor. And then take that top hand, and reach it across, take it all the way up, oh, down and across and up. One more right here, reach and up, good. And then take both hands to the floor. See if you can lift the leg, take it all the way out, reach with the right hand, breathe and release it everybody good shake it out i'm just going to turn around so i have room on the other side shaking out everything when you're ready extend out through the left leg open up the shoulders lift the leg extend through the right arm always with the elbow to knee thing one side's easier than the other this is not my easier side so one, you're here, two, the hands down, three, here we go. Squeeze it in, one, and two, 
three, you got it. Woo. Four and five, squeeze and extend. Release that hand, find your breath, lower your left knee, extend out through the right knee or the right leg. Walk those hands back, come on up, gate pose. <sighs> Inhale it up, exhale, hand down, reach and slide over. Now we know this hand on the leg is a light touch, right? Especially when it's around the knee. You're above, if you're at the knee, I just use a, like a little cage around that knee. Some of you have the extension to go lower and then reach over the leg. Inhale it up, exhale, inhale up. Good, last one, stretch, work that shoulder. And release, hands come down to the floor. Lift, extend, and lower, shake it out. Want you to take the left leg out again. Breathe, engage, nope, take it, sorry, take it straight back. Engage the belly, kickstand your right foot out and lower your left foot. We're coming into that little side, I always call it quarter moon, it makes sense to me. You can use a block here if you would like to lift up if you don't need or want the block. I think a lot of you do this without block. And then just feel the outer pinky of that long foot, right? That long leg. Tone the belly in and press the hips forward slightly, just so you're not reaching out through that low back. Take the top arm up. Reach the arm overhead. And then circle three times. Just circle it right in front of you. Reach, everybody. Good, one more big circle, working with the shoulders today. And then exhale, reach forward, turn that hand back to the floor, reach with the left leg, extend through the right arm, find your breath, release it down. Good job, everybody, shake it out. Shake, shake, shake. And let's go to the other side, extend through the right leg. Lift the leg when you're ready. Get everything toned up. Kick stand out. Lower the right foot to the floor. Remember, you can have a block under that hand. And take the right arm up to the ceiling. Check this standing arm. I didn't say that on the other side, but make sure you're not dumping the shoulder forward, right? Keep it nice and open. Good. When and if you're ready, raise that leg. Find your pose, reach the arm over, breathe, lower the foot. I'm not sure we did that on the other side either. We're going to be so missed next up today. Circle that arm. I think that was the product of me seeing myself versus not seeing myself. And circle. Good. Last big circle, everybody. Oh, and reach that hand forward, plant it on the floor, lift up through that right leg, extend out through the left arm, big deep breath, lower it down, lower the knee, Woo. and just come on off those wrists and hands for a moment, whatever it is that feels good to you, shake it out. And then come on down to your bellies. What? Already? No. <laughs> right. And just, again, if you're on blanket, it's a really nice little cushion for the hips uh, and for the front of that pelvis. Uh, but if not, don't worry about it. And then come on down and breathe. You can prop your head up with your hands. You can have your elbow or your forehead down on the hands, whatever feels right for your neck. And then really lengthen through the tailbone, lift the right leg and breathe. Lower that down, lift the left leg. Work with your hips, everybody. Work with those glutes, yep. You're not just lifting the leg, you are firing up the glutes. 
and lower down. Lift the right leg, extend out through the left arm and lift the left arm. Breathe. And lower down, lift the left leg, lift the right arm, opposite sides, lower it down, plant, stack one hand on top of the other, plant your forehead on your hands, lengthen through your tailbone, keep your head on your hands, lift your hands. Lift the legs optional. The elbows are out to the sides. Breathe variation of locust pose. Release the hands, take them back, palms up. Breathe. And let's do a little bit of swimming. Take the right arm forward. Take the left arm forward. Take the right arm forward. Take the left arm forward. Good, one more. Right arm, left arm, both hands to the floor, go wide. Let the legs go, press into the hands. So this is a variation of Cobra. Don't hike up the shoulders, draw the elbows in, press into your hands. I've got my hands uh, almost off mat. Soften the elbows. Judy, be real careful there with that hang in the hips. I'd rather see you down with elbows bent. Breathe and lower down. Good, lift both feet and flutter kick. We're going swimming. Breathe, keep fluttering. Optional, hands behind, flutter those two. <laughs> now I feel like, remember when you were just learning to swim and you got nowhere? <laughs> swim. Good, and release, press all the way up, press back, maybe a little child's pose or puppy stretch. <sighs> last, last little bit on the floor and then we're getting up, getting up. All right, we're doing push-ups. There's no way to make that a little softer. What you can do is your block, okay? If you would rather, Block either high, so kind of looks like this. Block medium here. Block low, you get the idea, right? Or we're just gonna see what we can do about five push-ups. Any variation there that you would like. So you're coming into that half plank. I like to cross my ankles. It just feels better on my knees. Here we go, take it down as best you can. You can even go an inch, one two, three, four, woo, five, oh, sad little push-ups. <laughs> Good, everybody, come to down dog. Pedal out your feet, shake it all out. And then take feet wide, walk your hands back, move your blanket out of the way, and then come on up to standing. <sighs> Blocks to the front of your mat. Ooh, shake it out. All right, here we go. Inhale, reach up everyone. Exhale down again. If you're still with me and you're still working with the chair, Basic sun salutations, you can do this with your hands to your chair. Soften the knees, step back right leg, find that first lunge. Keep your right hand either to the floor or to your block. Take the left arm up. Basic stuff right here. We do this all the time. Circle the left arm. Three times one direction three times the other direction. Work through the shoulder joint, let the chest open with it, right? Breathe, good, hand to the floor. You're gonna step back, downward facing dog. Find your breath, go slow. 
Make sure your poses are good. Come to plank. <sighs> Big deep breath. Lower the knees optionally. Chaturanga, take it down slow. <laughs> Release to a low cobra. Watch your backs, everybody. Exhale, down dog. <sighs> Find your breath. When you're ready, look forward, step forward, right leg. Your block will go to your left hand and take the right arm up. Feel that, right? Just feel that lovely opening of the chest. And then circle three times one way. Work with the shoulder joint. And then three times the other way. Breathe. One more big circle. Good. Hand comes to the floor. Step back, downward facing dog. Find your breath. What is it that you're doing with your shoulders? Right? What are you doing with the arms? Are you dumping into the outer part of the hands? Can you work with the fingers and the knuckles? Breathe. Plank pose. <sighs> Knees up or down. Take it slow all the way to the floor. Release to a low cobra. Breathe. Down dog, press out. Find your pose. Step forward, left leg. Drop your side or your back foot to the side position. Take your left hand to your left knee. Push up, warrior two. Now remember, right? We don't want to be heavy, heavy here. We want to push back both legs. If you were with me Friday, we worked on that a bit. Back hand goes down. Think gate pose. Reach the top arm up. You can either look down, straight forward, or up. What's the front knee doing? Is it rolling into the middle? Can you press it to that imaginary wall? And then slide through, forearm to thigh, and reach over. Find your breath. I know. Good. That top arm, big circle. One, two, last one. Three. I feel like I'm winding up for something. <laughs> And cartwheel to the floor. Both hands, back foot straightens. Step back to dog. Pedal it out. Check the shoulders, everybody. Nice external rotation of those upper shoulders. Plank pose. Breathe. Imagine those hands pushing your body away from the floor. Lower the knees optionally. Take it down to the floor. Move to a low cobra. This time, take the hands off the floor. Breathe. You can lift the legs if you want, if that feels good, or plant them. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands to the floor. Press up, down dog. We're almost done with this little warm up. Breathe, step forward, right leg. Turn your back foot to the side position. Hand to right knee, reach up. We got warrior two. Push into the back leg, like actually bring the body back in space a little bit. Back hand goes down, front arm goes up, breathe. And reverse. Nice, easy pose here. Extended side angle. Take that top arm, big circles for three. One, two, three. Listen up. You're going to come all the way up. I'm Take all your toes, point forward. I'm just going to turn around. Take all your toes, point them forward. 
Hinge from your hips, come on down. And breathe. Once you're down, let the head hang heavy like a grape. Feel the neck extend, stretch it out. Your hands can be on blocks if you need them. Usually with wide legs, we don't need it. Turn the toes out slightly, bend one knee and stretch. And go to the other side. Make sure you're sitting back in your pose. And switch again, hold this time. Take your left hand to your left knee or whichever knee is bent. Whichever knee is bent, take your arm to that because I don't think, and then take the other arm up and come into this kind of weirdish side angle pose. And then reach over that bent knee, reach in the direction of that bent knee. Hand to the floor, other hand to the floor. Woo, say hello to your inner thighs and hips, everybody. Big deep breath. Walk your hands to the middle, switch sides, bend the other knee. Nice tone to the belly again. When you're ready, you're taking your right arm to your right thigh and reaching up and over. Press through the long leg, the one that's not bent. And then reach forward. Take that hand to the floor, both hands to the floor on that side. Yep, I know, it's nice and deep. Walk the hands center, turn your toes back forward, bend both knees, hands to knees. Come on up and roll it out, everybody. Good, step it together, shake it out, grab your strap. A little bit more shoulder work. So your stance can be anything that feels comfortable to you. Just watch the knees, keep them soft so you can stand more mountainish. You can take them out a little bit. So take the strap in your hands, just a bit wider than shoulder width. Take it up, pull it apart. Be mindful of your particular shoulders, okay? Take it up. Think about what we did when we were on the floor holding the blanket and then down. Take it up. I've got a little bit of tension on that strap and down. Good, last one like this, up and then down. If you went wide, go less wide. If you went mountain, go a little wider. <laughs> How's that for exact science right there? Want your toes to be forward, the knees soft. Watch your balance, watch your um, where you go, when you lift up, see if you can open up and stretch. And as you exhale, bend the knees and tap your ankles. Inhale, pull up. Exhale, bend. Good, three more. Inhale, push. Exhale, bend. And two. And exhale, last one. Reach up, reach, 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 and come down. Let your strap go. Take your hands to your heart. Lift up. Chair pose. I'm a little wide. I'm going to heel toe in just a little. It feels better. Big draw into the belly. Big length through that tailbone. Arms out is an option. Five, four, three, two. One, if you can hold, stay. We're gonna swim. Here we go. Keep the squat. Work the shoulders and the legs, right? Breathe. Can you back swim? That's it, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on up, Woo, shake it out. It is no longer chilly in this room. Whew, shake. All right, grab your strap, one more. Hold on to your buckle end so you don't whack yourself in the face. Take it out nice and wide. Again, the feet can be where you want, just don't lock out the knees. Take it up. If your shoulders allow, take it back behind and just hold. 
Feel the stretch in the front of the chest, right? Don't lock the knees. Thank you. Keep them soft. And then take it up and allow it to stretch to one side. Inhale up, pull on the strap and stretch to the other side. Ah, oh, glorious. Take it up. Bring it in front in front of you, but then take it behind you. Only hold it about shoulder width, about hips width apart. From here, these front shoulders draw back. And then we're pulsing back. Palms are face out. Don't let the chest collapse. You don't have to hold this tight at all, right? Back shoulder work, back deltoid work. Breathe, five, four three, two, one, and then just hold it back. Palms are face out. Lift the chest more. Find your breath. And release. Woo. Nice job, everybody. Just set your strap aside. Grab your blanket. This is where you get to be Hercules or Herculea. I don't know. <laughs> So I'm gonna go wide just because if I don't, I'm hitting this fan that's above my head. Take the, block, the blanket in one hand, right? Obviously palm face up as if it's resting on your shoulder. Make sure you don't lock out your knees. Keep them soft. All right, we're doing simple shoulder presses. Now, this little blanket will start to feel heavy. If you know you shouldn't use it, take the blanket away, just do your hand or don't do the exercise. This other hand is chilled, okay? Waiting for its turn. All right, we're doing 10, one side if you can. Here we go, just straight up, straight back to your shoulder. Two, three, yep, four, five, got five left. Five, four, don't you feel like you should do like YMCA or something at this point? Three. <laughs> Two, one, give me a Y. Woo! Okay. Things that come into my head, it's just weird. <laughs> All right, palm is face up. It's on the other shoulder, just 10. These are a piece of cake. You could always do the same thing with weight, you know, with weight, but I tend to not like to do weight, heavy weight above, the sh above, my, sh um, above my head. All right, 10, here we go. One. And two, three, four, you got it. Five, six, seven, really extend. Eight, nine, 10, hold it up, bring the other arm up. Everybody give me a whoop. Oh boy, that is so weak, so weak. All right, Woo! all right, that's better. Release it, <laughs> take it down. All right, last one here. I do want you to be mindful of your back. You're just gonna use this like you were doing a rowing machine. You're gonna hold on to either end of your blanket. I'll turn sideways so you can see. You're just taking it down with bent knees and pulling it up to your chest. We did this on the floor too. One, two, three, squeeze it, four, Five, work in the back. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take it to your chest. Lift your chest up. Set your blanket aside. Good job, everyone. All right, back to the front of your mat. Back to your blocks. Inhale, reach up. Exhale all the way down, all the way. You can use your blocks if you want. Pause here. Bend the knees and step back with your right foot. Now, if you want, you can um, drop your right knee to the floor. You're gonna take your blocks in each hand. You're gonna bring those blocks up to your chest. You're gonna lift your torso, press out and just hold. It's that simple, breathe. Find your pose, draw the shoulders back, take the right hand back and switch. 
find your balance, right? All these moving parts, four, five. You can raise as high as you want. You can reach as far back as you want. Eight, nine, 10, take both up. Take both forward. This is a ton of core work. Take them both to the floor. Nice job, everybody. You're gonna just press up, step up, bend the knees, inhale all the way up. Exhale to your heart, soften it down. Other side, here we go, lift up. Exhale, forward fold. Step back with your left leg. See, as teachers, if we always start with the same leg every time, <laughs> Usually we get it right. <laughs> Grab your blocks, take them up, press them to your shoulders, lift up this time, breathe. Find your pose. Breathe, you got this. Reach forward, easy, watch the back. I want you to slowly take them toward the floor, but reach them back behind you instead. Pull the front shoulders back, everybody. If you can, you're pulsing for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I know, eight, nine, 10. Take them to the floor. You can actually release those blocks, step back to down dog, to plank pose, hold right here. Knees up, knees down. Elbows, if your wrists are chatty, tone your belly in, press through the legs, everybody. Five, four, three, two, one, knees down. Child's pose, hero pose, on your belly, whatever feels good to you. Ah. <sighs> When we don't work the upper body a lot, when we do work the upper body, can really feel it, right? So much of yoga is, is a lot of kind of leg-centric, hip-centric work. So it's really, really good to make sure we're staying strong through the arms, forearms, right? Upper arms, shoulders, back muscles, all of that stuff. Big deep breath. All right, so we're gonna do, we're gonna come to down dog and then to standing again. I wanna work on a little bit of balance work before we take it back to the floor. So however you wanna come up to standing, but again, maybe it's a down dog look, right? Oh, and then either walk hands back or step feet forward. You're in your forward fold, bend the knees, hands to knees, and come on up, <sighs> shake it out. Maybe you're near a wall, a little bit of balance work here, right? Maybe you're off your big, thick mat. <laughs> and then just find your pose, just find this opening. Take the arms and open up wide. But it's an interesting thing. So as you open wide, if I stand sideways, I'm not reaching back. I'm just opening wide. And it changes the, the uh, shoulder blades when you extend out versus here. Here I'm squeezing. Here I'm actually drawing them in and up a little bit. So I want you to feel that, okay? And then lower down. Grab one block. Last class not counting Friday. We worked with half moon. We're coming half moon or close again today. So on your mat, off your mat, you got, you got one hand in your block. I'm going to do my left side. If you want a mirror, you're doing your right side. So take your left foot forward. Your right foot, I don't like to step too far back. I want movement here. Okay, I wanna be able to feel my body start to move forward. So the first thing we're gonna do is either you're high, which again, I don't love, it's a little less stable, or you're the medium height. Look forward and then bend the knee. Your other hand goes to your hip 
and just set your block forward. Again, it's, you know, it's different for everybody, um, but once you're here, you're on your tippy toes on the back foot. See if you can extend up. Your foot is flexed. You're in the middle of your other foot. You're finding that distance from hand to shoulder. Maybe you open up the top shoulder. Maybe you open up the top arm. And it's that same thing. You're reaching one arm away from the other, but you're not squeezing back. Hand goes back to your hip. Bend your front knee. See if you can take that block with you. Oh, and shake it out. Shake. Other side. If that was hard for you, one, you stay grounded in the back foot, right? Two, the wall, a wall or a piece of furniture that you can lean the hips on. It's just such a lovely way to practice this pose. I love the wall for, for half moon. All right, so let's go to the other side. Right foot forward for me. Maybe it's your left foot. Block is in my right hand. I'm gonna lean forward. I'm just taking my block off mat. And I'm gonna set it down. I'm gonna think about it. As I push into my standing leg, I'm gonna see if I can find my balance. The belly tones, the back lengthens, the foot is flexed. I might stay here staring at the floor. That's a much more stable pose. Or start to look toward the left as the left arm goes up. And breathe. Find your pose, everybody. Release the hand. Lift up if you can, step back, shake it out. Block goes back to the front of your mat. Roll it out, shake it out. And then let's inhale, take it up. Exhale, take it down. Step back, down dog. Breathe, check the arms, check the shoulders. Plank pose. I know. One option here, two, lower the knees, three, one hand off the floor. Breathe. Building strength, building bone. Switch. First get stable, then take the hand off. Hand to the floor. Knees up or down, chaturanga. Cobra or sphinx, by the way. Lower down. Do me a favor, press up, grab both blocks. Set both blocks side by side on the middle, about the middle of your mat. You can always take your blanket and put that over there, over the box. If you think that might be hard, we're gonna be laying on them with our hip bones. Hip bones are connected to the leg bones. All right, come on down. Your knees are on the floor. You're in a sphinx-ish pose, okay? And breathe. And then just feel how if you press toward that bottom of the pubic bone, the, the low back lengthens. If you're overarching, if that low back is dumping, I want you to pull in and breathe. And then lift the knees off the floor. Press into the tops of the feet. Just breathe. Lower the knees down, lower your torso down. Hands come to the sides at your shoulders. Pull the shoulders back. Move back to that bottom edge of your pubic bone and press up to Cobra. I love this version of Cobra. <laughs> it's Cobra on training wheels. It doesn't bother my back at all. I can extend through the arms. I can open the shoulders and breathe, right? If this hurts, you're too high. 
So now that I've made this so nice and sweet and easy for you, we're lowering to a count of four, which means we got to use our arms and shoulders, okay? So tone it in and then start to lower. One, two, three, four, chest, and then push straight up from those hands. Bring the, don't let the elbows splay out now. Here we go. One, two, three, four, push up. We're doing three more, just so you know. <laughs> Here we go. Go slow. If you're not feeling your arms, you're going too fast. Whoo, and push up. Squeeze in. One, two, three, four, push up. Last one. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Push up, everybody. One hand off. Other hand off. Put them both down. Press back or take the blocks out and come onto your bellies. <sighs> All right, last little back bend work here. We are coming back to our bellies. Now you can use the blocks. No, you can't use the blocks. You can use your blanket. Okay. So if you want your blanket, <laughs> you can take that same blanket with the same fold and put it where your hips are going to be. Don't have to use it. We're going to go to locust pose again. Okay. So we kind of started with locust. We're going to end with locust. Make sure you're not too far forward. If you're too far forward, you ain't getting both parts of that body up, okay? So stay in the middle of your mat. Come on down, lift the legs. Now feel these legs like they're flying, right? Like they're really working. The hips are active, the toes are pointing back. And then start to lift the upper body. If you're on blanket, you got to be able to be able to find that balance. Lift the arms. Take the arms back. See, I'm too high. I'm going to do a nose plant and breathe. If you can, reach the arms forward. Five, four, three, two, one, and let go. Ooh. Shake it out. Come on to your back. Blanket, you don't need, if you want a low version of that under your head, you can do that. <laughs> I give you permission. But otherwise, come back onto your backs with your knees bent <clears throat> and just breathe. Take both arms up to the ceiling. Your palms are face forward, pull the shoulders to the floor. Your head is neutral, allow the arms to come down toward the floor. They don't have to touch. When they're about where you want them, turn the palms in and interlace the hands. And then allow the shoulders to scrunch up so that the arms are really close to your ears. If your hands touch the floor, that's great. If they don't, don't worry about it. Um, probably be good if they were on a blanket or a block just so they're not hold it, hovering too much. But just squeeze. And then keep that position, take them up and let them come down toward the legs. Inhale up, reach them up and overhead. Exhale them back down. One more here, press it up and press it down. Let the arms relax down to your sides, straighten the legs. And take both legs to the left corner of your mat. 
Walk the shoulders toward the left side. Keep your left hand down along your hip. Take the right arm overhead. My palm goes face up. It feels really good uh, for that arm to be in that position. Drop down through both hips, banana pose. Lengthen through the back of the neck. And just breathe. Relax the left shoulder, relax the left hand. And then take the, let the right arm back up, take your body back to center and switch sides. The legs go to the right, your right hand down along your side. For me, it's palm up, your left arm overhead, scoot the shoulders to the right. My palms are face up, my head is relaxed. And then release that top arms, shimmy back to the middle, bend both knees. Draw your knees to your chest and allow the knees to go over to the left. Curl yourself over to your left and either you can use your blanket or a block or your arm for your head. I like something under the head so that that left arm is straight out. Your knees are bent, your right arm or your top arm is free. So keeping this arm as close to the body or the floor as you can, I want you to pretend this is the hand of a clock and slowly go around. But if you can touch floor, you're touching floor. When the arm opens out to what would be probably your nine o'clock, allow the chest to open so that you're in a little bit of a twist and then slide it across your hip and curl yourself back into the middle. So nice, big, slow circles here. Remember to let the body flow with the arms. A lot of time we try to keep the body still. So as the arm opens, the chest opens, the head moves. As it drapes back over the hip and leg, you close back up. And the next time you circle, you might find a tight spot. If you do, go ahead and pause there. That's it, just breathe everybody. And then take that same right arm up to the ceiling. Spread it up and across until it reaches the left. And then reach the right hand past your left hand. So you're just stretching the back shoulder. Take the right arm up. Open it up. Maybe cactus pose. Maybe straight. So now that now you're in a real, a real twist or a supine twist. Big deep breath, everybody. <laughs> Release the legs, take them up. Your feet are to the floor. I'm just gonna turn around so that I have room for my arms. So you're gonna switch to the other side. <laughs> take the knees toward your chest, lower them over to the right. Your right arm is nice and long and it's you're not um, scrunching or hurting that shoulder. When you're ready, you're taking the left arm and you're starting this slow circle around your chest. Make sure you open as it comes back and close when you come forward. This is one of my favorite release poses for the shoulders. It's called clock pose. Use your breath.
Next time you find a tight spot, pause there. This is also a great uh, stretch to do if you're on a computer a lot, or if you're doing a lot of forward body work, even if you ride a bike a lot and you're bent over on your bike. And breathe, just breathe into that tight area. And then take the left arm up to the ceiling. Reach it over to the right arm. Let that hand go past the right hand. Just curl it over to your side. And then take it up, cactus arm, open into a twist. Mm. Good, releasing, taking those knees back to center. Bring both knees to chest. And then straighten one leg and the other. Let's find Shavasana. Now I know our Shavasanas are not super long. So if you know you would love a longer Shavasana, you might want to mute me. Um, or turn your volume off here so that when we come out of Shavasana, you can stay a little bit longer. <clears throat> if you are chilly or need a blanket, throw a blanket on you. Tap back into your breath. Maybe we take a moment to give thanks for our yoga practice and our yoga community. Allow yourself to soften down, to rest. Go softer still.
for those of you who are ready. Start to wiggle your toes, your fingers. Start to draw the knees toward your chest. Mm. Squeeze those knees in and rock side to side. <clears throat> Allow the knees to roll to one side or the other. <clears throat> Curl over to fetal pose. Take yourself up to your seated pose when you're ready. And bring your hands to your heart. Bow to your many blessings. <clears throat> of friends, family, community, life, breath. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. Namaste.